Hi everyone, welcome to the study of the book of Matthew chapter number 26. Matthew chapter number 26 has got various themes, not more, not less than five different themes in this uh, book. It is from verse, 20, verse 1 all the way to 75. So we are going to see uh, the plot, the plot against Jesus, which was done by the chief priest, Herodas, who gathered and they plotted on how they could arrest Jesus and kill him. Also, we are going to see Jesus anointed at a place called Bethany by this lady with a very, very, very expensive perfume, which... He was appointed, he was anointed with. And then we see Judas now agreeing to betray Jesus and given the coins that is that uh, sent by the or in the other ones they are called that silver coins by the chief priest. Then we, will, we shall also see Jesus having his last suffer what is commonly known as long suffer with his disciples and teaching them on how they will become greatest in the kingdom of God. Then we are also going to see in Jesus predicting that Peter would deny him. And Peter didn't accept, he argued with Jesus, but Jesus told him that that very night, before the cock crows, he would deny him three times. And of course, it is fulfilled. It is fulfilled in the very chapter or in that very night. Then, the other theme was Jesus praying at this place by the name Gethseman, whereby he blinded with the Father three times that if it was possible, the sorrow the cup which was before him would be taken away. Uh, but all the time, Jesus was willing that God's will to be done. At the same incidence we see now on Jesus reprimanding his disciples because of their lack of praying and watching with him. And they instructed them that it was critical for them to watch and pray so that they would not fall into temptation. Because the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. And I think, or I believe, that one is also to us today. Of course, after that incident of Jesus praying at Gethsemane, we see now him being arrested whereby Judas facilitated his arrest by coming and embracing him, hugging him, kissing him as a, as a symbol of hypocritical love. And uh, so, after Jesus was arrested, in that instance we see Peter or one of the disciples uh, cutting one of the servants with their sword. Here, and Jesus instructing him, him here, the one who had cut one of the servants, is here to return the sword in his place. And since the one who kills by sword will be killed by it, and Jesus let him know that uh, he and so many Ages, whom we would instruct at once, 12 legends of ages, and they would come and fight for him. So, meaning that Jesus offered himself to these people, not that they are the ones who captured him, he gave himself to them. He accepted because he is a king and you cannot really capture a king. After that, of course, they took Jesus, after they had arrested Jesus, they took him to Caiaphas. That is the high priest where the teachers of the law and the elders and they assembled 
And you see Peter following closely. He followed closely. And in the process of Peter following closely, that is where now, when he was sitting at the courtyard, there was a servant girl who came to him. And he identified him as one of the people who are closer to Jesus. But we see now Peter denying by saying that, uh, I don't know what you are talking about, Peter said. And as a result, now he went his way. Uh, and at the same time, as he was going through the gateway, that is Peter, another girl saw him. Another girl saw Peter. And when she saw him, she, she realized that he was with Jesus of Nazareth. And in denying again, he's saying with an oath, actually swearing, I don't know the man. So after a little while, those standing there went up to Peter also and said, Surely you are one of them. For your ascent gives you away. Or in the other ones, your ascent betrays you. And we see again Peter denying Jesus by saying, I don't know the man. And immediately the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the word with Jesus and spoken that before the cock crow, you will disown me three times. So that tells you that God or Jesus keeps his word. And without the Spirit of God, we cannot please God. So it is the only Spirit of God which helps us to please our Master. So that is the breakdown. The second part, it is now reading the scripture, all of it, and meditating upon it. Chapter 26, verse 1. When Jesus had ended this discourse, he said to his disciples, You know that the Passover is two days, and the Son of Man will be delivered up treacherously to be crucified. To be crucified. Then the chief priest and the elders of the people gathered in the open court of the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas and consulted together in order to arrest Jesus by stratagem secretly and put him to death. But they said it must not be during the feast for fear that there would be a riot among the people. Now when Jesus came back to Bethany and was in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came out to him with an alabaster flask of very precious perfume and she poured it on his head as he reclined at the table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, For what purpose is all this waste? For this perfume might have been sold for a large sum and, and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, fully aware of this, said to them, Why do you bother the woman? She has done a noble, praiseworthy, and a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Deuteronomy 15, 11, Jesus had instructed that they would always have the poor among them. In pouring this perfume on my body, she has done something to prepare for my burial. Truly I tell you, wherever this good news, the gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will be told also in memory of her. Then one of the twelve apostles who was called Judas the Sacriot went to the chief priest and said, What are you will, willing to give me if I hand him over to you? And they weighed out four and paid to him that pieces of silver, about twenty-one dollars. And the sister sent, as we see recorded in Exodus 21, 32, Zechariah 11, 12. And from that moment, he sought a fitting opportunity to betray him. Now, on the first day of the unlivered bread Passover week, the disciples came to Jesus and said to him, Where do you wish us to prepare for you to eat the Passover supper? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The master says, 
My time is near and I, I keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. And accordingly the disciples did as Jesus and directed them. And they meant he read the Passover supper and Deuteronomy 16, 5 to 8. When it was evening, he was reclining at the table with the twelve disciples. And as they were eating, he said solemnly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. They were exceedingly pained and distressed and deeply hurt and sorrowful and began to say to him, one after another, surely it cannot be, I, I Lord, ca, can it? He replied, he who has just dipped his hand in the same dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man is going just as it is written of him. But all to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed, it would have been better, more profitable, and awesome for that man if he had never been born. Psalms 41 verse 9 Judas the betrayer said, Surely it is not I. Is it, Master? He said to him, You have stated the fact. Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and praised God, gave thanks and asked him to bless it to their use. And when he had broken it, he gave it to the disciples and said, Take it, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. For this is my body of the new covenant, which rectifies the agreement and is being poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Exodus 24, 6-8 I say to you, I shall not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it with you, new and of superior quality in my father's kingdom. And when they and sang a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You you will all be offended and stumble and fall away because of me this night, distrusting and deserting me. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Zechariah 13 verse 7. But after I am raised up to life again, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter declared to him, Though they all are offended and stumble and fall away because of you, and distrust and desert you, I will never do so. Jesus said to him solemnly, I declare to you, this very night before a single rooster cross, you will die and disown me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny or dishonor you. All, and all the disciples said the same thing. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he told his disciples, Sit down here, where I go over Yoda and pray. And, and taking with him Peter, the, son, the two sons of Zebedee, he began to show grief and distress of mind, and was deeply depressed. Then he said to them, My soul is very sad and deeply grieved, so that I am almost dying of sorrow. Stay here and keep awake, and keep watch with me. And going a little further, he threw himself upon the ground on his face, and prayed, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, nor what I desire, but as you will and desire. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, What are you so utterly unable to stay awake and keep watch with me for one hour? All of you must keep awake, give strict attention, be cautious and active, and watch and pray that you may not come into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, a second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass by, unless I drink it, you will be done. And again he came and found them asleep, sleeping, for their eyes were weighed down with sleep. 
So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third times using the same ones. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking you at rest? Beyond the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man who is betrayed into the hands of especially wicked sinners whose way or nature it is to act in your position to God. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. And as he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve apostles, came up and with him a great crown with his sons and the clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign saying, The one I shall kiss is the man, sees him. And he came up and they came up, up to Jesus at once and said, Hail, greetings, good health to you, long life to you, Master. And, the, and they embraced him and they kissed him with pretended warmth and devotion. Jesus said to him, Friend, for what are you here? Then they came up and laid hands on Jesus and they arrested him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus reached out his hand and drew a sword and striking the body servant of the high priest cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Genesis 9, 6. Do you, do you suppose that I cannot appeal to my father? And he will. Immediately provide me with more than 12 legions, that is more than 8,000 of ages. But how then would the scripture be fulfilled that it must come about this way? At that moment, Jesus said to the crowns, Have you come out with the sons and the clubs as you are, you are out against a robber to capture? Day after day, I was accustomed to eat, to sit in the porches and the court of the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place in order that the scriptures of the prophet might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him, and the fleeing escaped. But those who had seized Jesus took him away to Caiaphas. The high priest, where the disciples, where the scribes and the elders and the assembled. But Peter followed him at a distance as far as the courtyard of the high priest's home. He even went inside and sat with the guns to see the end. Now the chief priest and the old council, the San Andrew, sought to get false witnesses to testify against Jesus so that they might put him to death. But they found none. Though many witnesses came forward to testify, at last two men came forward and testified. This fellow, I said, I am able to tear down the sanctuary of the people of the temple of God and to build it up again in three days. And the high priest stood up and said, What well, have you no answer to make? What about this? That what about this that these men testify against you? But Jesus kept silent. And the high priest said to him, I call upon you to swear by the living God and to tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have stated the fact more than that. I tell you, you will in the future see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the Almighty and coming on the clouds of the sky. Psalms 110 verses 1, verse 1 Daniel 7, 13. Then the high priest tore his clothes and exclaimed, He has uttered blasphemy. What need have we of further evidence? You have earned his blasphemy. Leviticus 24, 16, Numbers 14, 6. What do you think now? The answer, he deserved to be put to death. Then they spanked his face and struck him with their fist, and some slapped him in the face. Isaiah 50, verse 6 saying, prophesy to us, you Christ the Messiah, who was who was it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting sitting outside in the courtyard, and one man came up to him and said, 
you also you are also with Jesus the Galilean but the, but in denied uh, eight for him before them oh saying i do not know him what do you mean and when he had gone out to the porch another man saw him and she sent to the bystanders this fellow was with Jesus the Nazareth and again he denied it and disowned him with an oath saying i do not know the man after a little while the bystanders came up and sent to peter you certainly are one of them too for even you are assented with trace you then peter began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear i do not even know the man and at the, and, and at that moment a rooster crowed and peter remembered jesus is once he and sent before a rooster a single rooster cross you will deny and disown me three times and he went outside and wept bitterly matthew chapter 26 verses 1 to 75 the one which i have read through and the one which i have given you the breakdown so my prayer to us is that uh, we are going to live by faith so that you may glorify god and we shall not live by sight as peter lived and as a result now when the things of god appeared they became difficult for him so it is important for you to know that without the help of the holy spirit none of us can stand but we thank god because god is a god of many chances later on when jesus resurrected we, we see him coming back affirming peter and peter of course he became the leading person in